Hey everyone, welcome back to the Reclaim Ranch. And today I have this first little craft here. We're doing a Mother's Day event this weekend. And so this is a little craft that I wanted to be able to do a little workshop for the kids or grandkids. And it's gonna be like a $5 thing. So um, inexpensive, but fun to do. And it's a handmade craft that they can give to their moms or grandmas. So it's basically just a tile. There's four by fours, there's six by sixes, and some long ones there to the left. I think it's like a three by nine maybe. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with some of my IOD transfers from the Floral Anthropology and just cut out random pieces, use my little stick to push it down and then pull up on that little piece of clear plastic paper while I use my stick to push the transfer down onto the tile. These came off really fast, super easy. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a couple more things on. And then I'm gonna let the kids, I'm gonna actually have my Cricut and I'll cut out like the words mom, mommy, I love you, happy Mother's Day so that they can just quickly stick on something on their tile. But I'm gonna be using my IOD stamp set called Apothecary Labels. And it's got really small um, little labels and letters of different types. And so I'm gonna just put on a cute little saying, I love you, on this one. And then I'm also using the IOD ink because it's a permanent ink. And so these tiles are slick, so you want something that's definitely gonna be permanent. And then when I get it all done and dried, I'm going to use the Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Spray to give it a, a protective coat over the top, and I'm gonna do two coats. And then this second project here, I've had this piece, and I ended up um, trying the Easy Off Oven Cleaner <laughs> method on it. It did not work well. So what I'm gonna do is, because it is definitely a bleeder, I'm taking my Rust-Oleum top coat in dead flat and I'm going to do two coats of that to help keep those tannins in the wood and I'm going to go in with my fusions color called sterling and give it a couple of coats and I do want some of that wood to kind of pop through so on the the lacy part I'm not giving it like really thick coats um, but the inner side I do want to have a nice base because we're going to go in with this ephemeral um, IOD transfer, ephemeral melange it's called, and I'm going to put the transfer right there in the middle. And then I have some random glass cloche tops that I've collected over the years, and I'm going to pick one of those and make a beautiful cloche out of it. So, same thing, I'm going to use my IOD little stick here, place it where I want it, and then kind of go around the edges, lift up that plastic paper and continue to use the stick as well as my finger to guide that off of there. And there's some little words so I'm going to kind of cut those out and put them in random spots on there as well so I can use up my whole image. The goal is to use as much of my IOD transfers that I've had for a while up before I buy some more new ones. So got to work with what I have and then you always want to burnish it and then I'm going to go in with my big top and kind of do a, a base coat to seal in that transfer. Sorry the things are upside down. I've got a new camera ring light and apparently I haven't figured out which way it goes yet. So <laughs> this third project is super simple. So I got this little tobacco basket. I actually got two of them and I think they were at the Goodwill bins. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go in with some of my Fusions Limestone and just hit it with kind of like a, a dry brush technique. And that way it'll give it a more of a like a farmhouse look to it. It could also go into the Boho family. Um, and it's just a nice neutral piece. So I'm going to end up probably putting in a wreath. The wreath that I have is a little too big, so I'm going to continue to look for a smaller one. But... Um, I want to put like a nice greenery wreath in there and I think that's all I'm going to do but I've seen some of them where they've put in a beautiful floral piece in there or a sign like a welcome sign 
things like that. So there's there's all kinds of things that you can do with these little baskets. And then they make gorgeous art on the wall. So that was my plan for this one. And so I just ended up doing that one coat of the limestone. And I was actually pretty lucky. I thought it was going to bleed on me, but it didn't. And then this last project, so I've had, I bought a, a box of these old piano rolls and I just love them. I They're just gorgeous, they're beautiful. Julie from Julie's Designs and Science has done a lot of things with these, but um, I've had them on my website for quite a while, none of them have sold, so I thought, well, let's take one out and see what we can do with it. And I was really excited to get to use the new IOD's stamp set called Pastiche, and it's got a lot of beautiful cloches and bird cages and birds. And so this was just a fun piece to incorporate onto this piano roll, and I'm gonna make a hanging wall decor with it. So the thing I wanted to, to kinda say is that I think looking back now, I would probably prefer just to do maybe all black. I did end up using a kind of a, like four colors, I think. And I mean, it's okay, um, but I think for my taste, more antique style, I think I'm going to end up doing another one in just all black for my decor. So if you like the colors, I will go ahead and put this up on my website and um, it'll be for sale. But these are just kind of fun. I know that some people might get upset with me by using, you know, an antique piece to do this, but well, they're not selling as is, so, and they're not playable anymore, so I gotta figure out something to do with them, <laughs> right? <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, this was fun. This, if you don't have this stamp set, it's just beautiful. There's florals in it, there's butterfly, there's a bird's nest, and just um, a stack of books, a couple of those. Just a really beautiful classical piece. So definitely want this set in your stash, if anything. So now what I'm going to do for the bottom part so that it'll actually hang against the wall is I got a wooden dowel out of my stash and I'm using my antiquing mix which is antiquing wax, a little bit of black paint and water and I'm just going to put one coat of this color on the wood just so that it doesn't look brand new so that it actually matches the antique look of this project and then I'm going to wait for that to dry and I'm going to hot glue it to the base of the piano roll and I'm just going to hot glue the entire thing around so it'll fully cover that piece of wood and that way it'll give it some weight and something for it to to hold the paper down against the wall. I hope that makes sense. And then for the top I'm taking just some um, white macrame twine and I'm going to make a little hanger and I think hindsight I would probably rather use regular twine just because it's brown and it kind of matches more but you live and you learn I guess so <laughs> I don't know I mean I ended up liking this project but I think I could have done better for sure so let me know what you guys think um what would you have done in this instance and uh let me know so maybe I can make some changes and be able to, to sell some of these. And then also let me know what was your favorite project for today. I think any of these would work well for a Mother's Day gift. They're unique. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you back on Friday, hopefully with some more Mother's Day ideas because that's definitely coming up this weekend. So y'all take care and we'll see you then. Bye.